Hey there y'all, Disney D Prince here today with another Barbie Extra unboxing. Today I picked up the Barbie Extra exclusive doll five pack. Now this pet five pack came out just in time for Christmas. It is five dolls and six pets and 70 styling pieces supposedly. Now there's only one exclusive doll in here and that's this one here in the center. And she's very pretty and she's on a curvy body. So I did want to get her as well. Um, so it retails for $100, $99.99 usually. Uh, but Target, I mean, Walmart today had a sale on them on their website, online only, I think, uh, that was $75 which puts these at 15 each, which is my marker for when I buy Barbie Extra. Because I don't usually buy until they're about 15, and I was like, okay, at 75, that's 15 a piece, so it's fine. Now I do have these two over here. We're gonna give them a quick look through, just for the shape, sake of the video, but if you want a more in-depth review on these two here on the end, you can watch those individual videos. Uh, but. Here is the box. It's a very big box. Uh, it's not super stable considering this type of packaging just doesn't uh, hold up real well. When you get to a larger box, it kind of relies more on the cardboard on both sides, uh, which just isn't there. Uh, but this is a very big box. Uh, it's very pretty. Uh, you do have a couple of these little uh, extra shaker things. Uh, there's not one for each, there's only two. Uh, so there are six pets in here. Two of which will be a repeat for what I have, and then four of which are new. Which we'll look over here in a minute. Uh, let me show you guys the back of the box. Now I do still have the Barbie Extra playset. If you want to see that video, it's on. it's already posted. Uh, here's the back of the box. We have more of a close-up of this girl over here. We've got them standing up. We've got them all displayed out. Uh, you got a little close-up of the pets over here and their little accessories. Uh, they all look good. Of course, none of them are on... Um, none of them are on the uh, actual made-to-move bodies. They are all on the articulated bodies that don't have ankle articulation or double knee articulation, uh, lateral leg movement, or, um, or double elbow articulation, or chest articulation, or lateral arm movement. But these are still pretty decent doll bodies, which I appreciate. So there are two curvy dolls and three different tones of, uh, of original bodies. So let's take a look. I see some tabs here on the back and I'm hoping that means this will be an easy open. Uh, not necessarily the case, but I am, I am tempted right now to say that this is gonna be an easy to open box. Uh, so let's give it a look and see. So, let's see, I have very short nails right now, so it's a little difficult for me. So, hmm, interesting. Uh, so it does have tabs that come off. There's only a little bit of tape up here on the uh, corners that I've noticed. And there's a little tape here on the, on the sides. So once we get that off, let's see how easily it comes off. There's a couple more tabs here underneath. Which is kind of fun. 
and they do kind of pull out easier than I expected, which is nice. Uh, and so let's see about this. Okay. So once we get those tabs out from the underside, it actually opens easier than the, uh, it opens easier than the uh, regular ones, surprisingly. Let me take these last tabs out of the top, which is gonna be a little bit trickier because I think these are sort of glued in. Please ignore all the things that are falling off of my uh, background display at this moment. Uh, but that is what it looks like out of the packet, out of the big plastic part, which is nice because on the last couple of these, I've just had to cut the plastic part off. But that this one actually does have tabs, which is kind of nice. Uh, so we're gonna look at these and I don't think you're actually losing anything compared to buying these individually, which is kind of nice to see. Um, so of course we do have two of the big fluffy coats, which I love, a nice denim jacket. Then we've got a pretty neutral um, skateboarder, like uh, windbreaker kind of jacket. We've got a couple of nice basic pieces here in the shorts. Uh, a couple of nice solids here in the um, in the tank top and then the skirt and then a couple of fun outfits nothing too crazy I'm not a huge fan of the way these jeans look because they've got this fringe along the side and they've got a print on them I'm not a huge fan of printed denim um, but and I never really use these uh, fanny packs so those are kind of a, a waste a wasted piece for me but they are very cute. You do see all these sunglasses we've got around here. Um, hers, I think, are the only one that I would use because they're actually transparent and the others are not. Because Mattel spends a lot of money on designing these faces and when you put sunglasses on them, you can't see them. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get these two out first so we can get them out of the way because I've already reviewed them. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt down a little bit so you guys can see my process. I do have my handy dandy nippers to get me, to get her out of her plastic prison. which is fun. Uh, you can either, uh, her bracelets came off, that's okay. I'll set those up there for just a second. And then we'll look at her here in a minute. Her fringe is getting in the way. I can't see where her, um, where her stomach one is. That holds her in. There it is. Okay. And then she does have a couple of staples here in the back of her head that I'm just going to pull her out of. Okay. And so that's what she looks like. She's very cute. She's got a couple of uh, elastics holding her... Uh, her braids in place. Those are just a, that's just a quick snip to either side. And then this is what she looks like. 
so we do have a couple more of the uh, of the staples holding her jacket on and then another elastic that's holding on this little uh, cell phone purse I'm gonna cut that off so we can get a better look here at the cell phone purse that's what it looks like nothing on the other side still very cute um, these are the bracelets she was wearing and they were both on this hand over here so we can put them back on like that uh, these don't fit real well I feel like they may need to be heated but I'm not sure if that was because they were stuck on top of the uh, rubber band or what but I'm gonna set those up there for now and we're gonna take a quick look at this we've got these little staples in here uh, so we can just take a look at her outfit underneath a lot of these the coat really doesn't show what's going on underneath on these uh, so here is the big like kind of 70s rock star uh, jacket that's going on a lot of fringe some flames flames continue on to the back uh, they're very cute it's a very cute jacket and then this is the underneath We've got three necklaces overlapped, a pair of big chunky earrings, kind of reminiscent of the early 90s. Uh, we've got some uh, lime green socks and then some platform heel uh, boots. And of course these denim shorts that I love so much because they're, you know, they've got the pockets, they've got a nice close over them. The only thing I would like these better is if they had a elastic instead of the uh, Velcro just to make them look a little bit more like jeggings, kinda. Now her hair is a little poofy, I think, from when I pulled her out, but I can probably just take this one out of her braids here in a little while, because I already have another one of these, uh, and I didn't buy her for a body swap or anything. As you can see, her arm is a little loose in there. Uh, I can just pop that back in. And so we're going to set her back here because I'm not going to go into full detail with her because I've already reviewed her um, and then here are her glasses just some little kind of like uh, John Lennon shades I'm gonna put extra accessories up here on our extra playset uh, and then we've got her little pet friend which is one of our more realistic looking dogs surprisingly and then he's got a little uh little car to drive around in which makes literally no sense but it's fine uh, and then we are going to move on to our rainbow coat girl which i bought i think five of her because at one point target had her for like like six dollars or something like that and so i bought a bunch because she had already been out for a while because these four that come with uh the exclusive doll are uh are part of the original wave that came out okay and we got her out now we can fix her poofs and then again, we've got her, uh, we've got a couple of little elastics that are holding her braids in that I'm gonna have to nip from the inside to risk not cutting any hair. And then the same one is over here. otherwise we can't take this jacket off 
Okay. And so we've got that. And now we've got our little braids that come down from her head. She's got little like box braids in there. Uh, and then here is her little like big ring thing that she's got on. Uh, she has got her boots that are on, her little silver boots with some uh, tube socks, which are not laying right, but I'll go through and fix those later. Again, there is a better video of this for me. Uh, because I did an individual review of her. So there is her little purse. It's a little cloud. I don't know why, but it is. And then we're gonna take her jacket off so you guys can really see the underneath. Part of that fur was stuck in her, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, and then I didn't realize her ring was gonna get stuck, so I gotta take that out. Okay, so here's her coat, which is awesome. I love this coat because it is just camp enough to work for like a formal wear outfit. And then here's the big chunky ring, which is like how they like to do these. They slide it over the whole hand like that to make it look like she's really rocking some ice. Um, this is one of my favorite necklace pieces because it doesn't look that unique, but it also isn't uh, crazy gaudy and then we've got her little outfit underneath is a long sleeve and uh, this is like a like I could see someone wearing this to like a workout class but that's how she looks she's got a very pretty face and these big poofs it's not one single afro it's poofs um, so we're gonna stick her back there and we're going to look at her little pet accessories. So this is actually like the dog's purse, not the, uh, not her purse, but that's okay. Um, but I'm sure you could probably use these as her purse, but she does come with those three little bones. And then here's the little purse to hold them in. Because it actually does open. And then there's that last one. We'll stick that back in there. And then we have this one right here is our little uh, go-to pet, our little poodle. Her glasses do come off. She looks kind of like a poodle, except for the fact that she's wearing teeny tiny heels, which makes no sense, but it's fine. So we can just pop those shades back on her, throw our little... Uh, Rottweiler friend or little mini pincher. I'm not sure what he's supposed to be back in there. All these pets are really top heavy, I've noticed. Um, nope, that won't fit. All right, her head's too big to hold her little body up. So I'm going to stick her between legs. Uh, and then we have these sunglasses. And these are very kind of like uh, almost like a New Year's kind of sunglass, I feel like, but they are cute. Uh, this one I need to bend to make it fit a little bit better. Uh, and then from this point, we're going to go on towards 
uh, these, and I want to review this one last, because this is the exclusive one. So these two were parts of the first wave that were released, but I did not, uh, I did not love them enough to get them when they came out, and as I was buying up more that were on sale, um, these really didn't go on sale that much. And so I just kind of said, screw it, I'll wait. And then luckily these came out on their, uh, on the five pack. So that was nice, nice of them to do. This Barbie's got a lot longer hair than she looks like she has, but she's a basic Barbie. Uh, nothing super life-changing about this hair other than it's pink underneath the majority of it. If you guys can tell that difference in the blonde, it's a very like washed out pink. She doesn't actually have a ton of hair Really, it doesn't feel very heavily rooted at all uh, to give it that more laid down uh, texture. And she does have these little uh, little knots at the top that have little, uh, little tails that come down. Uh, but very cute. And I'm going to, here's the gummy bear ring. That's kind of cute. And we're gonna see if that'll slide over the thing. Yeah, well, okay. We're good. Okay, so here is the fluffy coat. There's actually a couple of staples in here that I'm gonna take out that we're holding down those, um, those little ponytails, but they also keep them from laying correctly. So, that's what this looks like. It's very soft. It's like a, almost like a baby blanket yarn is what it feels like, but it's very pretty. And then here she is outside of that. She has a Barbie necklace, a little star necklace and a silver chain. I do love that her accessories actually match in the same color scheme. Um, but She's very cute. I'm not a huge fan of her hair. She's got some braid or some crimping going on. Uh, it's really not thickly rooted. Uh, she's got some hoops that she's wearing, which are kind of cute. I like a nice silver hoop. Um, but these are her boots that she's wearing. Uh, very cute. Uh, kind of like a Mercury boot or Hermes if you're Greek. So this is what the shoes look like. Again, we're getting into the more in-depth reviews now. Um, so that's what that looks like. So very cute. This is her gummy bear ring. Again, takes up the whole hand part. I'm not gonna take that off. I am curious if this is a bodysuit or not. And it is, so that's kind of cool. Um, and then she does have a little, uh, a little knee protector under there, which was holding those pants in a weird position, but still very cute. I actually don't hate this just as like a swimsuit, um, but you could also just throw on like a skirt or something like that over it because I don't love these jeans. It looks like as jeans, but I'm gonna put her back together. Uh, but, so I mean, that's, that's a pretty decent outfit. Again, the stunner on this one is the coat. Um, I would argue the shoes too are very, very fun. Um, don't know how much you would use these shoes unless you were styling something like that, but she's very cute. Again, a basic Barbie face. Nothing, 
Nothing life-changing on the face. Uh, so we'll put that one over there. And then we've got a little, uh, this is like her purse, I guess. It's like a zip clutch, but it says sweet on it. So that's kind of a weird, this is a weird bag. You don't see this kind of bag very often, even in real life. Uh, but I guess you would consider this a really large clutch. But still cute. And then we have these sunglasses, which are pearl lined. I think these are almost the same ones that we got in the um, in the Barbie Style Series three or uh, Model Three, which I did actually get the uh, Barbie Style Model Two on sale on Amazon, so that one should be coming in. Friday or Thursday, hopefully. So uh, I should be able to get a uh, review out for that here in the next couple of days. If you guys have any questions on those. So we have our little unicorn pig, which has several accessories on it. So it has wings that come off and a little unicorn headpiece that comes off. So that's kind of fun. Then, then it turns into like a basic pig. I actually don't hate that pig. And it has its little uh, cloud that it sits on. Kind of cute. Um, again, probably not something I would use as far as a uh, pet, but this little pig I probably would. Like she's cute and she actually stands up on her own. And yes, I'm calling her a she, because I don't know how to sex plastic pigs. Um, and so this one we've got is like a skater doll, also part of the um, of the first series that came out to where it was, uh, it was cute. And I did want her, but by the time I decided I was gonna review the Barbie extras, she was not in stock in a lot of places that I was looking. So I just kind of said, okay, fine. And then I saw she came out on this and I was like, awesome. Uh, let me see, are there any, there are a couple. She does have a couple of elastics holding her hair down. She's got this very nice um, blue hair. And she, very pretty. So here is her face. One of her cats came with us, I guess. She's stapled on there. Uh, she is curvy, which I love, and she's in a uh, an almost Barbie tone. Let's see. She's about the same tone as Ken looks number nine. So somewhere in that uh, in that Native American, Latino, kind of skin tone area, but while still being light skinned. Uh, let me take this off. We'll look at the cats later. Uh, she does have some headphones, which are kind of cute. So these are the headphones, they're in like a uh, in like a neon yellow almost. Nothing crazy on those. Uh, she seems very thickly rooted, which I love. And she's got this knot on top. Uh, you do see a little bit of scalp underneath that knot. Uh, but I don't think you would see it if you took the uh, hair down. Okay. That's why. So there is like tape underneath this jacket holding it in, but here are the shoes. Let's look at these first. Dang, she's even got elastics on her shoes. Uh, I don't love when they have to secure shoes on. That's not a great sign. Uh, I think we've seen this mold before. 
these are just kind of basic shoes. And then I missed one of these staples earlier. Okay, and then we've got a watch over on this side and two bracelets over on this side. Um, there is a necklace that's under there. You can't really see it. Let's see. So there's nothing on the back of her jacket, which I do love that there's nothing on the back. Because with BMR, we got a lot of cute pieces and then like none of them were non-BMR. Um, non Let me see, what can I do? I really dislike when they put sticky stuff on these dolls. Because um, yeah, look at that, there is a big, piece of like sticky tape under there and now we've got a loose thread that's under there that I'm gonna have to trim and God knows where that actually came from Ooh. doll down okay <laughs> uh, so that's what that one is let's see if I can get this one off sort of uh, the other way there we go okay And we take that off, okay. So it is a short sleeve shirt underneath with this uh, this jacket, or uh, not jacket, um, whatchamacallit. Oh, the thing, uh, saddlebag or whatever it is, the, whatchamacallit. But this is kind of a cute detail that you can't really tell when you're looking at the doll, is she has these laces that are run down the side, which is kind of sweet. I'm just gonna trim these little uh, extra thingies off. Uh, and so it's very cute. It does have an actual zipper. It's not just printed on. And surprisingly, it actually has a functional zipper, like, like that's kind of rare in Barbie clothing. Like normally it's just the zipper for show. This one actually zips. So kind of sweet. So you can cinch that a little bit more. Uh, so I love that jacket a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, let's take a look here at these shorts. So again, when it comes to curvy dolls, I love when we get new pieces. Uh, these are basic like denim shorts, which I love which if you were lucky enough to find her in bulk for cheap, these would probably die really well. Sorry, I'm getting hiccups for some reason. Uh, so here is the watch. Here are those bracelets. I'm gonna take this little bag off. I don't love these little bags that they do, the fanny packs. But this is again in like a lime yellow or a or a neon yellow or neon lime almost. And then her earrings say girl power. So that's kind of fun, except for the fact that one is a four letter word and one is a five letter word. So they are different lengths, which I don't love. Uh, I would cut these off, but her face is very pretty. If you can't see those freckles real well, like she is a gorgeous face print. And then I'm gonna, oh. The shirt is not a full open on the uh, on the back, which is unfortunate. Uh, but such is life in the doll collecting world. Sometimes we get these weird shirts. Uh, so this is not sequin, but it does have some sequiny aspect to it. It has almost a sequin print in vinyl, I feel like. Uh, but here's her body again. It is a curvy body. Uh, let me see what it is compared to. So here is this curvy body and there's the skin tone comparison. Let me see what it is compared to the Barbie style model three. So compared to Barbie style number three, she is a little more of a red undertone, as you guys can see. 
Uh, so she is kind of her own unique uh, color, I think. Unless she matches the uh, the Samantha Casanarari. Uh, I do have those coming Friday, or no, those coming Sunday, I think. Because I was actually able to order those from Mattel. So that'll be the last of my uh, curvy dolls for now, I'm pretty sure. So let's stick her outfit back on. Oh, actually, we're going to put her shirt back on because her shirt goes over her shorts. Under her shorts, I mean. Uh, but this is a very cute doll. I kind of regret not getting uh, one of her when she launched because I didn't really think about it as far as uh, her being curvy. Oh, and then here is her necklace. It's like a choker. It's just in basic lime, like that uh, same lime yellow packet. It doesn't really stand out over the collar of her shirt, which I don't love that it doesn't, but that is life sometimes. Uh, she does have flat feet which is another one of the reasons I don't like these articulated dolls in favor of the Made to Move. Because the Made to Move can wear all types of shoes. Uh, whereas these articulated dolls can only wear the shoes they have the feet for, really. Um, so, such is life. Okay, so there's her outfit right there. She's good to go. And then our last uh, little thing for her is she does have these uh, Ray-Bans or aviators in a metallic silver, which is kind of nice. You don't see those in metallic silver very often. The only thing that would be better is if they were actually transparent. Uh, but Mattel does not like to give us transparent ones. Uh, she does come with two of these cats, so that's our uh, our fourth and fifth pets, respectively. They're kind of cute. The little, uh, whatchamacallits, don't come off. I wish the crowns came off, because these are kind of cute for, like, kitten size. Uh, but, again, their heads are way too big to really stand up on their own. But the kind of uh, nice thing is she does come with the uh, skateboard. You don't see Barbie skateboards too terribly often. And then it does say Malibu in a sort of graffiti style, which is fun. You don't see a ton of dolls that come with the uh, skateboard. There's the skateboarding made to move doll that's hard to find now because they don't re-release her for some weird reason. But, and the same with the breakdancing doll. I don't know why they don't release them because those are great dolls. But we're down to our last one. This is the exclusive doll. She is also the newest doll, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then let me try to get as much of this off as I can to really... Uh, get her going. She's got a lot of elastics here on her hair, which is fine, except for the fact that I'm about to have to pull this head out. Okay, there we go. And so there she is out of the box. She's very pretty. Um, she's got a couple of braids thrown in. She's got some green highlights, uh, these pink elastics. Very cute. All done up in this ponytail. She's got her uh, little transparent sunglasses up here that are unfortunately stapled in, which really sucks. I hate when they do that because even more staples I got to take out. Um, but, and then she's got this cute little purse, you can see the detailing on that, it's like a little clutch with jewels, 
Uh, I think we've seen this purse mold before, but I'm not sure. Uh, and then let me snip away her little dog. Because she's got a bunch of extra stuff on there. Uh, so here's the little Yorkie. Very cute. Uh, you could almost get away with using this as a regular pet. Uh, except maybe I would take this green off of here. But here she is. So she does have a little hair scrunchie on her wrist. She does have a little uh, silver chain and a little transparent blue chain. And she has one, two, three necklaces. This is actually one piece, this big one. But we're gonna take those off because she's got this uh, big rubber band that goes around. I don't, I don't love when they do that. I know why they do it. It's to keep these necklaces flat in the box. But still is not a great thing that I love to see because like this is all one piece it's very cute uh, let me show you guys take this little uh, thing off so here's her little uh, fanny pack that's done almost more like a clutch so it's very cute and this is a pleather skirt this feels almost rainbow high quality which is good for Mattel um, and then we've got these boots, which have roses on them, painted soles. Uh, if you wanted to go harder on these, you could paint these roses and these laces. Uh, most of the time I don't do that, but sometimes I do. Oh, well that's disappointing. This one has a, uh, oh, maybe not, I can't tell. If this is supposed to be like that or not, because this one has a uh, little hole in the bottom too. So kind of fun. Uh, these cute little uh, stockings. Uh, and then again, here's the articulation on her. Not the best, which is why I call these articulated dolls and not made to move, even though made even though Mattel lists them on their uh, made to move section. Here is the skirt. This is in a Tiffany blue. Uh, I would probably put this on a uh, Rainbow High doll. Might put this on Robin, because it's the same color as all of her stuff, Robin Sterling. Um, and then we have a shirt, which I'm gonna have to take this this off that little wrist thing did not want to come off real well and so you can see more of those uh, those two necklaces right there they're both chokers uh, but very cute Cut the little elastic that's holding these on. It's never a great sign, in my opinion, when you have to put an elastic on a doll to make some piece stand on it. But here is the shirt, which is cute. I was hoping for more actual fashion pieces for her, considering the only thing we really got out of her that's usable for other dolls, I think, is this skirt. Uh, this is a cool concept for a shirt, though. It's these big puffy sleeves. It says it's all good on it. And it's very cute. Uh, these are her earrings. You can see it's like uh, teardrops with three stones at the bottom. You got one on both sides. They're the same, surprisingly. Um, I don't want to yank these uh, sunglasses out of her head right this minute, but just take a look at that uh, 
with that face makeup. It's great. But it is a surprisingly basic doll for um, for the Barbie Extra line. Uh, I'm a little bit surprised. But still very cute. Again, there's that, uh, those, that skirt. I'm going to put the uh, shirt back on so we can see it posed again with all of her uh, sisters or her squad. They would have done well to call this the squad pack instead of like the multi-doll pack or whatever. The Barbie Extra Squad or like squad goals. But she's very cute and has a very bendy thumb for some stupid reason. I hate when I can't get the thumbs through these little uh, cuffs. Drives me insane in the membrane, y'all. That is a dated reference. Sorry about that. Anyone younger than 30 probably was like, what the hell is that? And so... There she is. I'm going to put these other ones back on so we can really see them again. Again, I'm not real worried about the fact that this is kind of um, a weird um, toe thing because I'm not going to pair these with them. Um, with heels, most likely, and if I do, I have other other kind of stockings that I could use that I stole from Rainbow High. Um, so that's what she looks like. Again, I'm gonna put this little one back on, I think. Yeah. And then we've got our other accessories again that we could put back on her. And she is very cute. Like, I'm not mad at this. Uh, do I wish that she was sold individually or that she came with the Barbie Extra car? Yeah. Uh, was that going to stop me from eventually buying this because she was a curvy doll? No. Like, I was going to eventually either buy this on sale after Christmas or when it went on sale or whenever. Uh, and, uh, Walmart gave me a solid, pretty much. And put them all on uh, clearance today as a holiday deal. So here they are. Again, we've got all their jackets over here. Here's the little pink jacket. Here's our uh, skater jacket. Here's our rainbow jacket. And here's this one. So I am actually a little upset she doesn't come with a jacket. I was hoping there was a shirt underneath here, considering all the rest of them have at least three pieces to their outfit, and she only has two. But, you know, such is life. Uh, but she's very pretty. They're all very pretty. Um, I think my favorite out of these is gonna be her. Like, she's very pretty. That's the reason I bought the set. She's in kind of a, uh, a neutral skin tone. I think she might be the same color as this Made to Move. She's a, like a half a shade lighter, but not super light like the other Made to Move. Um, so I don't think I would rebody her onto this because this is our other option right here is this one. And I think she's too light considering but maybe we'll see with the Samantha one so all of these dolls are great again this retails for $99.99 usually I got it for $75 as part of a holiday deal from Walmart uh, these are all on articulated bodies but not made to move uh, as far as I know these two uh, curvy dolls don't have color matches that are exact yet. Again, this one's going to be pretty close to your uh, ginger made to moves 
and this one's going to be pretty close to your um, to your break dancer or your um, or your Barbie style number three. And then all the rest of these are very cute. This one, I love her little bodysuit thing. I'm not a huge fan of her jeans, but she's still very cute. I like her accessories. I don't love her hair though. It's very thinly rooted and it, it feels very, it almost feels damaged. Oh, and I forgot to point out that she does have like a hair clip in on both sides, as you guys can see. So that's a couple more accessories. Uh, but very cute. There's nothing about this, uh, about this grouping that's bad, really, other than the fact that I already had these two. But that was just bad luck that I'd already bought them when they announced the five pack. Um, they're all very pretty. Uh, the pets all will fit in our, uh, in our Barbie extra, I'm going to call it the pet motel. Because that's what it feels like to me compared to these uh, Barbie style dolls or mini dolls. Um, which if you haven't watched my video reviewing this set, go ahead and give that a look because it's got the, uh, all the deets on the new Barbie style mini dolls and their kind of head comparisons. They're almost like a, they're almost like an MGA doll with the head size. Like it's, uh, it's a little upsetting in my opinion, but they are still cute. So again, very cool set. There's a lot going on. This is a great Christmas present if you haven't gotten any of these dolls yet. Uh, so give it a look. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, if you enjoyed it, leave me a like. And as always, follow along for more fun unboxings. Bye, y'all. Be good.